I know. I'm excited. I mean, you know why, as a why? former high school swimmer, that's like my childhood idol, man. <laughs> huh? Childhood idol kid. He like six years younger than you. Well, I'm a, I'm a swimmer. I'm not an athlete. It's two different <laughs> things, Snoop. I never said I was good at math, but you get, you get the drift of what I'm saying, man. Right? I get you. I got you. Either way, it's gonna be a great show. We are back. Welcome to an all new episode of Olympic Highlights. I, of course, am Kevin Hart. And I'm the one and only Snoop D O Double G, the world's foremost expert on dressage. Shout out to all my ponies. <laughs> Snoop, it is our seventh episode, man. How you feel? I feel good, man. I'm excited. I come to work dressed fresh like a million bucks, and I'm more confident than Devin Allen was after one of that 110 meters hurdles. You know what I'm talking about? Hold on, I do know what you're talking about, man. Quite the race. By the way, one of the hardest events ever, man. Pop locking. See what oh, this you... guy was pop locking at the end. Not, not the best pop locker. Not the best pop he locker. He wasn't in the group. He was one of the dudes that wanted to be in the group that just been on the sideline. Yeah, like... yeah, waiting for somebody to pass it. <laughs> pass it to me, man. Nope. Come on, give it to me, man. And went all the way over right. there. Every, he, anybody but he you. He's passing it around him. Come on, man, please, one time. He was dancing like no one was watching because there was literally no one in the stands, honestly. Uh, all right, it's time to do what we do. As always, we like to kick things off by highlighting our favorite medal winning moments. What time is it? It's time Tokyo, Tokyo Bling, 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 bling. Despite having to compete in the rain, American Valerie Allman was able to overcome the elements and bring home the gold in discus. Let's take a look. Spin it, Woo! throw it, let it go. What a frisbee. Woo! She called. First of all, look at the, look at the, look at look at the feel. Look at the footwork at the end. I like that spin, she put that one foot spin. You know what we used to do when I was a kid, kid? We used to climb on top of roofs and take the tar off of it and do just and spin The same off. thing. I know exactly you, what you're you know talking that? about. Take the, the tar things off, yeah, the, and that and those are the things that you exactly. throw. Exactly. Man, you know what I'm so impressed with, though, man? Not just her, not a throw, it's the footwork after the throw. Like, when you watch people do that type of stuff, you realize all the technique that's actually into it. You can't just get out there and throw it. You got to have a technique. That technique was there, man. The follow through. You, the the follow through. Could have said it better myself. Follow through. Cuba's Mayan Lopez got his fourth consecutive Olympic gold medal. Let's check him out. Oh, he come in swole. He come in big swole. <laughs> Look oh, at it. Oh, he ain't playing on, no games. Come on, man. Come on. Aggressive. Ah. That's a, that's a ah. two point, that's a two point ah. move right there. Come here, man. Like he got another two points to push him out the rock. He pushed him out. You know what, man? Picked oh, your old, oh, oh, he slammed his he old slammed ass his coach. coach. Whoa! Come on, man. You can't do the old coach like that. Oh, they ain't gonna help me, man. You too can slam your bitch ass, bitch ass too. Come here, come punk here, man. Yeah, you think it ain't over for you? I'm about to power drive you. Oh, <laughs> oh my that God. That gotta be the worst shit to have a, a victory and you a wrestling coach and your wrestler celebrates by slamming your dog ass on your head. God. Back to the field where two time defending gold medalist Anita Wolderchik uh, made a three peat with another gold medal performance and the hammer throw. She's strong. Oh, look at this. She's right strong, cuz. Look at that technique, Kev. Look at that technique. Oh, whoa, whoa! Kev, she had to count those spins. Whoa! In her head, she had to count those spins and know exactly when to throw it so it wouldn't hit the gate. Hold on. One, look at the technique. Two, look at it. Look at the technique. Three. She, she knew it. And she spent out of it. Watch where them feet land that though. The momentum could have pulled over that line. Watch where them feet land. Her feet work is impeccable. Listen, cause. and she screamed. Immediately after, which means that she okay. knew. Okay, look at the glasses, Come though. On. She popped the Olympics Come on, on now it. Now with the Olympic frame. Yeah, she did. By the way, no shot I'm getting that out the net. Like that, I'm going right into the net every time. <laughs> Listen, as a matter of fact, if anybody is around me while I'm trying to do that, you got to be the stupidest person in the world. If, you're, if you are around me and you allow me to try to hammer throw and, and you want to stand on the sides, you, my friend, are one of the dumbest people in Ever. the world because I'm definitely coming for you. It's going to hit you. Yeah. It's going to get you. I'm coming right at you. Uh, Snoop, listen, do you know that they, uh, that they got to retrieve the hammer after the throw? So they have somebody have to go get that thing that they threw? Yeah, I mean, that, that's retrieving. I think we got a clip of how it goes down. Look. Let me see. I thought it just stayed out there. Uh-uh. Somebody got to get this. Look. That look, look like a little Tonka toy. Yeah, they got to get it. Look. Ain't look, that look. a bitch they playing with Tonka yeah. toys? <laughs> that's how they put them in. 
They put them in the little, the little remote control cars. And, and drive they go it back. back. By the way, the Olympics <laughs> have gotten lazier and lazier as time has went on. They spend all that money on these remote control cars, but they got the athletes sleeping on cardboard boxes. Probably the box that that goddamn car came you in. Nailed it on the head. We spending money on the wrong stuff, man. Stop putting our athletes on these triple connectors and get these remote <laughs> control cars out of there and walk your ass from that net out there to the grass and pull that hammer out, put it in the bag and walk your stupid ass back there so the next person can go, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and now we turn to gymnastics. American Jade Carey tumbled her way to gold in the woman's floor exercise with this incredible performance. Let's take a look. Let's see, let's see. Actually, she didn't do good in the event before this, so she had to come back and show out. She Ooh. got down, cuz. She got down. I watched her. She was about to cry in the event before this because she didn't Ooh. do so well. Ooh. And then she pulled, she kept herself composed, came back, and put on what up? What would be considered as one of the greatest floor performances of all time. She did that. Woo! I love that you're seeing people step up and shine in their moment. That was inspirational. Great job, Jay. You know what? You know who's going to be lucky? Oregon State University, because that's where she's going. What? She's, she's a beaver? She's committed to going to Oregon Leave State University. Leave it to beaver? Yes, she is. In the women's 400-meter hurdles, Sydney McLaughlin broke her own world record and won her first Olympic gold medal. Let's take a look at it. Wow. Let's go, Sydney. Look how she got to walk her down. Though. Watch her walk her down. Walk her down, no, Sydney. That's scary. Worst thing to see out the corner of your She's going to walk her down right now. I'm telling the you, Sydney's going to walk thing. Walk right now. Do the Moors Day and walk her down right now. Walk her down. Here she come. Here she come. Here she come. McLaughlin finna take that. Bang. Oh, Light skin. God. Let's go. What Bang. Oh, my God. Then, I don't. Don't hug me right after. Let me, <laughs> let me deal with what just happened. Get out of here. I'm going to push you. She stole that in the last 12, 13 steps. Wow, I don't even understand. First of all, congrats, Sydney. What an amazing race. But I don't think they have proper etiquette, OK? You, you got to understand, if I just watched you, I just watched you pass <laughs> me, OK? I just, I'm trying my best. I'm moving, and I know I can't do nothing about what just happened. Let me sit in that loss for a second. No, man, get the fuck out of here. I'm a, I, 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 you, you coming over as soon as we cross the finish line with your arms all out looking to be embraced. I got to sit in my loss for a moment. I just, I just dropped everything just now. It's but that's all the over. Olympic attitude is like they are the best in their country, right? So to even be there, I know me and you can't fathom this shit. I'd nah. be like, fuck that, nah. get out of my motherfucking yeah, face. Yeah, I'm I lost. Done. Like, let me at least do the walk. You know when they when they cross the finish line, they do the walk with their hand on the yeah. hips. You can tell they think it to themselves, like, God, man. Looking around, trying to. Yeah, let me get that off. Don't, right, right. don't come to me right away and make me do the whole force thing like I'm happy right now. I'm not. <laughs> let a loser lose for a second. <laughs> Finally, world record holder Mondo Duplantis of Sweden. He won the men's pole vault and remains the only man on the planet to fly over six meters this year. Check him out. He got up. Shit. Oh, my God. He cleared that shit. That was First wild. of all, he still Ooh. got more to go. Mondo tight pants Duplantis. Hey. <laughs> Six meters is how tall in real life, because, you know, in America, we go by height. How, what was that? How many feet was it? I mean, six meters? You're talking at least seven, two? Seven feet? 18 feet? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> I'm about to get a better statistician for Kevin. This motherfucker number is all the way off. <laughs> the scary part of that event is, Kev, if you're going up and that pole breaks. Man. If it breaks hey. while you in mid-bend mode. Hey, you better cancel Christmas. Oh, Lord. It's over. But they got to get it. That's why the positioning of the poles is so important. If they don't get it in that little square. You run it like square. this, and you got to find the square, then put it in the square, then yeah. make sure that you push off of it the right way to get that. The the technique and understanding is, is extremely important, but it's, it's like I, I don't understand, you know, how they get to the point where they can elevate at that level. Like, are they, do they start off with... You know, Four smaller, feet, five feet. smaller. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They got to, just like the high jump. You know, high jump start off two feet. Yeah. Just getting the technique together, getting the. What'd legs. you just do? That's what'd the you high just jump. do? No, <laughs> what did you just do? Yeah, what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> you just had a stroke? <laughs> That's the <laughs> high jump, cuz. Luke just had a stroke <laughs> mid example. You gotta get, he just died. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mid example. He said that's this. my high jump. I got the backwards technique <laughs> where I lean back. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I can show you better than I can tell you. Let them pull hey. a motherfucking mat in here and put a pole up. Hey. And I'll I hit that some bitch. Y'all want to see some shit? Bring a motherfucking mat in here and put a motherfucking stick up there like five foot seven. And I'll show you motherfuckers how to Snoop, do the high jump. I think when we do this again, me and Snoop have to do a medley of some of the events. Because I think I'm five foot six. I can. High jump, that's an easy play for me. I'll tell you what, we'll both be broadcasting with neck braces on. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was Tokyo Bling. Oh my Roll God. Roll that badass, but super generic title card. We'll be right back with more Olympic high lights. You bet you. Welcome back to Olympic Highlights. Okay, guys, one person has won more Olympic medals than anybody on the planet. His name is Michael Phelps, and guess what? He's about to dip in. But first, let's enjoy some of Mike's greatest hits. Woo! That's Butterfly? Butterfly. Okay. Butterfly. Okay. Another medal. Uh, freestyle. That's freestyle? I, I be freestyling on the mic, so Ooh. I love this shit right here, the freestyle. Look at mother. Look at mother. Look, mama look at mother. Mama, mama, look at mama, mama, Phelps. mama Phelps. Hello. I need that too. Look at this. Look like me out there. Oh, for real? Look like me out there. That's the relay yeah. right there, kid. That, that was a bad relay. I remember that moment, actually. That was a bad combo pack, Snoop. We'd like to welcome the greatest man underwater, AKA Aquaman, Michael Phelps. What's happening? What's up, Snoop? There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Mike, I just watched some clips of you. It, it took me back down memory lane when I used to be in that water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Our butterflies look similar? Our butterflies are very close to being similar, Mike. And you said that with a very sarcastic tone. You said <laughs> I was, was just a... questioning. We're going to get to it in a second, Mike. We got a couple questions for you. Snoop, you can kick off the first one, and I'm going to blow Mike away after that. OK, well, what I want to know is, what was you doing in Tokyo Broadcast? I, honestly, I was being able just to go to the meets. I got to commentate some races. For me, honestly, it was overwhelming. I, I didn't really know what to expect. It's my first Olympics being away from the pool since 2000. So I was on the other side of it. It was a little different not, not knowing what was going on or really what to do. I think it's dope, though. I think it's dope that you get to, you know, play on both sides. Your analogies, your breakdowns come off a lot different, man. I think that's special. What's Thank the most you. challenging part of this new role for you, you know what I'm saying? Because me and Kevin be having problems with all them long-ass names. Has that been a problem for you? I leave it to the pros. <laughs> I just give my technical advice, and, and that's the one thing I think is really awesome. The one way that I think my mind works so different than, than a lot of others in the swimming world, I was obsessed with being as efficient as I possibly could in the water, so being able to break it down and, and give you guys some of the pointers on some of the greatest strokes that we have in the world. Well, you know, when you speak about being efficient, I think this is the perfect time to bring up a clip of me doing the butterfly, Mike, because I want to show you what efficient looks like. Can we show Mike a clip of little black Aquaman and the water, please? I'd like to see this clip, yeah. too. Well, My you're eyes work, too. You're going to see it, OK? okay? Let's see let's this. Roll a clip. Please. Show the clip right now. Who's that, Mike? Huh? Yeah, say something, Mike. OK, you Say got some, you got some huh? dolphin in you. Huh? Say something. You got some dolphin Pat. in you, kid. Yeah, that's on, that's on repeat. Because I know you're going to ask to see it again. So I'm giving it to you on repeat. I kick Phelps' his ass right now. Look at it, look at it. Look at it, trying to analyze it. I am, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to analyze it. Speaking of efficient, last thing you thought you would see was, was a little black man butterflying like that. I kick his ass. You have fins on? What would you say? You have fins on? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you, I'm in the ocean, man. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Just look at, look at the look at the stroke. It's not about what was on my feet. It's about fizz. you saying the he technique. Had on fizz, Mike. Listen, he right definitely on. did. Listen, sure. Listen, listen. Yeah, he definitely had spins on. Listen, listen, listen. First but of all, technically it doesn't count because you can't hey, use spins in the race. Hey, first of all, I don't know how. How good is his eyes <laughs> to see that I have fins on? I got glasses and couldn't see him. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. He that's said a... that I see the fins, <laughs> son. I see him. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't fins, but Snoop, I was snorkeling, and after snorkeling, I decided to, to, to do a video and just show people that I can swim. It that looks has good, nothing though. To do. I can't even front camp. That it has nothing amazing. to do with the stroke, Mike. I just want you to see. Look at the form, though, Mike. 
Can I say something? <laughs> of can course I say you something? can. Go ahead. All right, so here. So if you see the clip, if you didn't have fins on, then your body wouldn't be able to get that high out of the water, which means you wouldn't be able to ride on top of the water like you do. So your stroke then wouldn't be as clear on top of the water. You wouldn't be able to get fully out and clear. So, so I'd like say to see a you. video with no fins. <laughs> Oh, so, oh. so that's a professional tip that he telling you, okay. Kev, next time you do it, you can't come so far out the water because that gave it oh, away. No, you can. Have he can, but I think because he's using fins, that's the reason he's able to do it. I will tell you, you are absolutely wrong. My upper body strength is incredible, hey, and my I dolphin know. kick is insane. Now, what I can <laughs> say, Mike, I will challenge you. Whoa. I will challenge you on Prime TV. <laughs> but you, it has to be a, uh, I'm only swimming a quarter of the pool, okay? So I was swimming a quarter of the pool. You got you to gotta do two full laps. I got one quarter that I got to do in butterfly. Okay, now you win, fine. If you do freestyle, then that's different. I'll, I'll win in freestyle. If you give me one lap in freestyle, freestyle, that's different. I thought we were talking butterfly. Yeah, you know he raced a shark, too, cause... I don't give a damn if he raced a shark or not. But you got to give me, like, you got to let me start first <laughs> for, like, four seconds and then dive in and go. I need I need you to, like, be in a 24-second situation, being that you I'll can swim. You, I'll give you four seconds for sure. That's four seconds for sure. Four seconds. four seconds. What's right. the fastest time you've ever done that? In a 50? Yeah. I mean, the fastest ever, I've probably been 19, but I can still muscle a 20. 20 seconds, Kev. Muscle you get a, a four-second lead? Yeah, you're trying to talk trash on his muscle of 20. You know, Tokyo popped up on me. I didn't right. think Tokyo was happening. Right. So if, <laughs> if, they, if they had a delayed Tokyo, I would have tried to make that happen, Snoop. So that was a miscommunication on my part between me and my team. You got three uh, years to get ready for Paris. <laughs> do you, honestly, do you miss competitive swimming, Mike? I mean, I miss it a little bit, but, but to be honest, like, being with my kids at home like I am all the time, I, like, I, I can't ever give that up. Like, that's that's something that's so incredible. And, and you know, for me, growing up with not really having a dad, this is these are moments that I'll, I'll, I'll always cherish. So, Absolutely. you know, when I was swimming, I was swimming three to five hours a day, plus weightlifting an hour to, to two hours a day. So it's a full-time job. Nice. A beautiful thing. Mike, so I want to give a shout-out to the queen, to your mother. You understand me? Because I noticed yeah. how at all your events, she used to always be there for you and be there and support. Now you done made her a grandmother. So how do you think these athletes feel but not having their family members there with them as they celebrate their victory? Good question, Snoop. It's got to be hard. I I'm a mama's boy, so my me mom too. absolutely everything. So, you know, for me, I, I always love looking up and, and seeing her in the stands, knowing exactly where she sits. I look up. She knows what the hard work and dedication that I put into to doing what I was doing. So, you know, to, to take that away from the athletes, I think, is is extremely challenging. You know, everybody kind of has to go through it, and it's, it's hard, and it's, it, it's, I, I don't know how I would be able to handle it. As an advocate for mental health, what's your take on Simone and, uh, and her stance and what she did for herself? I think it's incredible, and I think it's a great opportunity and, 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 and an amazing example. You know, if you look at what other athletes, not only Simone who have done this year, Naomi Osaka as well to be able to stand up and, and share what she's going through. It's not easy to stand up on a, on a platform like that and, and share these difficult feelings, emotions, times that you're going through. But we have to take care of our mental health and our physical health. Those two things together are the only things that are going to help us have the chance to be 100% ourselves. Well, what you just did was amazing. And I love your words. I love your support. It's definitely something that, uh, that, that should be said. And I hope that's received by so many that sure. are quick to judge and quick to point fingers. It's not easy to do what you all do and what you all have done. So thank you, man. I don't, I don't even think that we need to go for it. We just got some greatness there, Snoop. We really I, did. I don't want to ask my kid. Mike, I want to thank you too, man, for making it cool, man. Because one thing about us, when we get in the position of of celebrity, when we do decide to step out and speak to things, when we do it, we make it cool to do it, and it becomes a basic conversation, and now we get into where we need to get to. Thank Absolutely. you, Absolutely. Hey, and thank also, man, thank you for showing Snoop and myself love here on uh, Olympic Highlights. We saw hey. your post on IG, man, and that's yeah. how we got you here. Yeah, we IG, we seen you rocking with us, baby. Always, all day. And I gotta say, I love Crip Walk and Horse, too. That, <laughs> that was fun shit. Hey, oh he gonna be God. in my video. Mike, I'm getting him for the video. Don't trip. I'm flying him in town real soon. Hey, you know what I else you're gonna love? You're gonna love the back of these feet, because that's all you're gonna see when we race, okay? <laughs> Get used to seeing the back of my feet. 
That's right. Little hot foot in the water is what they call me. <laughs> I can't wait to get myself some Phelps. Thank you for coming on, Mike. Love, Love you, man. you, Mikey. Yeah. Appreciate Aquaman, you. Aquaman, the best one to ever do it. 23 Olympic gold medals. You hear me? Medals. 23 like Michael Jordan. Hey. Michael Jordan wore 23, hey, but he got 23 gold medals. How about they put it at the bottom, man? That's that right there. Is that's something that's else. the news flash. Breaking news. <laughs> 23 of them. 23. We'll be right back with more Olympic highlights after this. Add that up. Welcome back to Olympic Highlights. As you know, four new sports were added to this year's Olympics, and one of them is something Snoop and I are completely unfamiliar with. I don't mean to speak for you, Snoop, but I've never seen rock climbing on TV. But now, that's about to change. It's time for new sport. Who this? Who this? Who this? <laughs> Who this is? Yeah, this footage just came in. Let's take a look at some speed climbing. Speed climbing. Hey, man, what in the human superhero? What the hell? Yeah! Woo! Way to go, Duffy! Wait a second, show... Hold on, show me some more of that. Let me, let me see a little more of that real quick. Um, oh, oh, no! Get your ass oh, get out of here. Stupid get your ass. dumb ass get out of here. Get out of here. Hold on, man. You're supposed to be six point something in this. By the way... By the... Hey, oh, man. 633, that was... Look at hey, this look motherfucker. Look at he just gave up. Get your... Hey. <laughs> Get off the wall! <laughs> we done came all the way to Tokyo for you to goddamn stop in the middle. <laughs> Eight seconds later. 15 meter wall, first one to tap the buzzer wins the round. Mm -hmm. And uh, the climbing route is always the same. Everybody takes the same route, so. Nobody yep. tries nothing different, like go left instead no. of going right first? No, it's all the same. Head to head race, single elimination. Do you think you can do that sport? Absolutely not, Snoop. It's one of those things we kind of know off the back what my answer would be. That's got, <laughs> that's got Achilles tendon. I couldn't even look across the lane and see you over there and be like, what are we doing here? Hey, man, I'm hanging right here. That's not, that's not our thing. By the way, let's go back. Let me count the black people we saw. Uh, I seen one, the one that fell. Yeah, the one that fell. Yeah, he wasn't the shit. The one that fell he was gets black. in the event and fell. God damn, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, fellas, that's new sport. Who this? Yeah, who is this? Now you get to find out. Who, who is this? I don't know. Yeah, we didn't know who that was. <laughs> Everyone likes things that are shiny and new. But what about those Olympic sports that have been around forever and don't really get the attention that they deserve? Right now, we're going to show you two events we think should be getting way more hype. It's time for old sport. What that? What that? Huh? What, what that? that? What, what that, that, that is? What, what that is? What, what is? What is that? We're going to start it off. Water polo. Water polo has been in the Olympics since 1900. Which, by the way, I just learned today that the Olympics have been going on that long. Uh, <laughs> it's basically rugby in the deep end of a pool. Yeah, the team that finishes with the most amount of goals and the least amount of drowning wins. Play the clip. This is a hard sport, because they're not standing in water. They're actually holding themselves up. They're off. holding themselves up. Treading. Oh. They're treading? Treading. They're treading water. And I want to make people aware drowning is legal in this particular event, Snoop. You can drown somebody in Well, there? the least amount of drownings. So if you come out there and we only had two people die, we in a good position. That's right. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm taking it as. That's me too. Play the clip again. Let me hear what the announcer says. Into center forward. Another good save by Biatch. Saved by Biatch. Yeah. Oh, so the goalie name is Biatch? Yeah. And by the way, and his upside is bitch ass yeah. head. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, they said another save by bitch, but that was not a save. Bitch no. just got hit in the head with the damn ball. Upside Come on, guys. Bitch ass head. <laughs> Get, take that to the head, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out water polo. It's violent as hell, but I swear it's fun to watch, guys. In a real way. Okay, let's talk about another old sport that's still hanging around the Olympics. Greco-Roman wrestling. Yes, yes. Unlike freestyle wrestling and Greco-Roman, a competitor cannot hold his opponent below the waist. Which leads to some crazy moves that look like this from Iranian wrestler Muhammad Ali Gear A. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There and here go. he is fighting like a champ. Go, Ali. Ali Bumbaye. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. He put his nuts on his oh. head? <laughs> what was that, the nutcracker? <laughs> Yeah, he said, hold on, cuz, put his nuts on my head, cuz. I thought we was wrestling, cuz. What part? Hey, hold on, cuz. Hey, 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 come on, man. Yep, there come they on. go. Oh, there they go. Oh, he didn't hit him with the forehead thrust. Yeah, he did. He gave him the old ball head. He put his <laughs> balls on his head. 
He didn't put his ball on his forehead, then he kissed yeah, he it. he did, he kissed he it. He kissed his head, Brad, he put his ball on his forehead. I'm gonna kiss right uh, where I laid him at. The is called The Flying Squirrel, performed by, uh... It's flying Squirrel, because he put his nuts in his motherfucking face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Flying Squirrel, which was performed by Gary on a Croatian named Bozo. Wow. This, has, this, 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 this I mean, some of this stuff just writes itself. We don't even need to say anything about this match. This is one of the matches before they stepped on the mat. They said, you got to be kidding me. Come on, man. <laughs> you finna fight a Bozo? Yeah. yeah, man. But the irony didn't stop there. Here he is posterizing another wrestler with a Greco-Roman front flip. He different. Oh, man. He different. What you doing, bro? He different. What you about to do, he, he man? He's just walking around with him? What you about to do, bro? What you doing? Hold look on. Look at Cuz just taking it. Oh, look oh, at this, oh, hey. Come on, hey, Cuz. Hey, man, what you doing? He a little kid in him right oh, now. Oh, hey, come on, man. Hey. Oh! Oh, look at him. Oh, wait. <laughs> Go, can y'all go back to the face? Go back to the guy <laughs> face. Go back to the, go back to the black guy face after he realized. This nigga know hey, he was gonna be on hey, the <laughs> That face is like, hey, I'm gonna be on Kevin hey, and Snoop's show. I know I'm gonna be hey, on Hey man, there. he dizzy as hell, Snoop. <laughs> Look, he dizzy as hell, man. Go back, let me see it again. Let me see the moves, let me see the face. Oh, oh my oh, God. Look, at, look, he like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been Greco wrestling for 10 years. I ain't never had nobody hold me and do a cartwheel like that and land me. That was, that was so like much disappointment. Little ass kid. Oh my God. Muhammad Ali Gary did not end up making the podium, but he did make me enjoy Greco wrestling. So thank you, man. Thank you, Muhammad Ali. Amazing performance. We hope this opened your eyes to some classic Olympic sports so you no longer have to say, old sport, what that? What that? What that is what we should have said to that front flip. What yeah, that? What that was? Early in the show, we had the privilege of talking to Michael Phelps, and Michael Phelps had some amazing words to say about Simone Biles. And here's the thing, Simone actually decided to jump back in gymnastics and compete in an event. Why don't you take a look for what she did yourself? Go on, girl. I watched this earlier, Kev. She was amazing. I like that she got back up there. Confident. In question is what she would do for a dismount. Well, she yeah, that spin right dismount. there is cold blooded right there. That right there, like no hands, like, uh uh, I don't even, uh uh, come on now. I, now watch the finish. The finish is what's important. The finish, the finish, the finish, the finish. Bah! Stack that. Oh. Give me that. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, put that around my neck, that bronze thing. Congrats, <laughs> man. She won the bronze. Such an amazing story. And look, even if she didn't medal, it wouldn't change a thing about how we feel about you. Simone, we've watched your journey in this year's Olympics. We have nothing but love and support for you and all that you've been through and all that you're going through. Team you. That's yeah, what we are Simone, here. Simone, you are the greatest American gymnast in history. We want to give you a double shout out for being a survivor a fighter, mm. a spokesperson, a role model, a mentor. But most of all, we just want to tell you that we love you and we appreciate you. Keep leading by example. God Major bless you. salute to the GOAT. Once again, we love you. We appreciate you, Simone. Welcome back to Olympic Highlights. Boxing is one of my favorite Olympic sports, which is why I'm so excited for our next guest. A little stat sheet on him. He won a gold medal in light welterweight boxing at the Olympics in 1976 in Montreal. Yeah, we talking about the one and only, the sweet one, the one that you all wanted to be growing up in my era. Sugar Ray, don't play Leonard. <laughs> What's happening, champ? What's champ up, is here. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Good to be here, man. Champ, right now, man, you you look great. You're in good shape. Are you still in there? You still working out and stuff on the regular? I still hit the bag. I still work out. But I listen to my body a lot more than right. I normally would. OK. Yeah, yeah my body said, hey, hey, let's slow down a little bit, baby. And I'll do that. Mm -hmm. you, you look know? good, though. How yeah, was thanks. it like competing in the Olympics in 76? I know that's a long time ago, but I know it got to be a moment in your life. How was it? That moment in the Olympics, 1976 in Montreal, mm -hmm. When I raised my hands in glory, I was also so sad because I thought that that would be my last fight. I didn't want to be a professional fighter. I was going to go to the University of Maryland, further my education, and get a good job. My father went to a coma. We had no money. I asked my mentor, I said, how can I make fast money? He said, turn pro. From that day on, my life has been boxing. 
Holy cow. Yeah, so man. it was an accident. I say a calling from God. I don't think it was an accident. Thank you. I Thank think you. it was it, a calling. Exactly. I've been a fighter for, what, 50 years, man. And I've come out somewhat unscathed. So mm -hmm. it, it was a blessing. I'm not a boxer, but I love you. I've always been a fan of you. And you inspired me to want to be fly on TV, to want to look good, and to want to know how to talk, and to carry myself in a professional manner. So that's what you did for me. You rubbed off on me. Absolutely. Uh, I do want to bring attention, man. Snoop, you mentioned it a second ago, but let's make people truly understand. He is wearing his actual Olympic jacket. <laughs> from, from 76. That, from that time. This is from 76. This is the real jacket. And there's rumors floating around the set that you actually have your gold medal with you. A gold that medal? you are wearing Champ, a, you gold got a gold medal. medal? Man, look at this. And not only is it here, but it's still gold. This make me want to get back in the ring. This make me, Snoop, Snoop, this make me want to. He didn't say you could put it on. Man, at this point, I think I, I can earn said, it. He just said, look at it. You just put this man gold medal oh. on. <laughs> That's that's so good. That that's step so, was good. That's so good. Kev, your step was amazing. I mean, I mean, hold on, champ. Oh, yeah, give it to him. Yeah, 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 get it, champ. Yeah, get it, champ. Watch yourself. Let me tell you something. Champ is still kicking my ass right now, today, <laughs> today. Huh? This no. is pretty dope, man. Champ, where do you keep it? Where do you keep your gold medal? You asking too much information. Yeah, yeah. Where do you keep it at? In the house. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> go, 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 champ, I got a serious go. question. Which current Olympic boxer? impresses you the most right now? You know what? I, I really like that kid, uh, what, Duke Reagan. Yeah. Like, fast hands and, oh yeah, I like him. He's a winner. Oh, you know, we can actually show people. We got a clip of him in action. Oh, oh God. One, two, one, two. Duke got good hands. I mean, good hand oh, speed. Oh, God. He got good hand good, speed. Good, great hand speed. And you know what, guys? Balance. He has balance. Yeah. Look at this punch right. landing. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my night, God. Night. Protect yourself. He's using that hand speed. Oh, oh my God. God. Get off. That's the one I got that can go down. I mean, that's that's it, man. Oh, chins that up. That was good uh, shot. Um, besides boxing, man, what other sports are you following in the Olympics, champ? First of all, I love tennis, volleyball. What's that, badminton? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. What's yeah. the sound effect it makes? Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wrestling. Gymnastics, no gymnastics, yeah, gymnastics. Too, yes. I, I used to be, well, I thought I was a, gymna a gymnast, but uh, I mean, I, I loved it too. When you think about boxing back in the day when you were, it was such a highlight. It was the biggest and best, but now there's so many other things going on. How do you think you get it back to that glory where it once was? Winning gold medals in the Olympics, boxing back on network television, champions fight champions. Mm, mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. Uh, yeah, remember back in the day, it was also, they said, well, he's number two contender, which means he's going to fight for the title in the next year or so. Mm -hmm. Soon, not so, three so, years from not now. Not three, yeah, not three years from now. And, uh, you know, Kev, you and I can do it. Do what, champ? Get a couple of rounds in. A rounds of what? Boxing. <laughs> You're gonna be the punching bag. For, for who? Uh, for the champ. I, I'm not gonna hurt you, but yeah. you know, you, you, go, you will go down. Yeah, you know, you know why? <laughs> you know why you wouldn't hurt me, champ? Because I'm, I'm not getting in there. That's why, I'm not fighting you, champ. There's no world where I would fight you, champ. You're gonna have to. Why would I get in there? It's an exhibition. The it's for charity. Yeah. How do I feel if I hurt the champ? It's for charity, oh, Kevin. Right? No, no, he said, did you I know don't want to be known as the guy that took out the champ. Come on, I don't want that <laughs> type of publicity. <laughs> champ, do you even know how hard I hit? I got this and I got this. And guess what? They like to play. No, 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 champ need to know. <laughs> he done stepped in it now, Snoop. He done stepped in the pile of it, so he needs to see it. Okay. Set, set the machine up so I can let him know the type of power he's dealing with in this 144 solid body. Here we go. Standing got an amazing five foot two, the light featherweight champion of the world, Kevin, size three shoe, hard! <laughs> Hey, hey, look, you see the, see the little feet come up? You see? What'd you say? What the fuck you say? <laughs> Who you talking to, man? No respect was coming from the shoulders out here. Yo, hold on. Champ, honestly, you gotta back up. Oh, and, that's, and that's on. What? <laughs> okay, here we go. Coming down the middle. Did you see my hip turn? I did see did that. Did you see my hip turn? I, I saw that. Because my power is here. My power is here. You telling me? <laughs> Ooh, he making me mad, Snoop. <laughs> here we go. Down the middle. That's a good one. That's a good one. Wow. I, don't need, I don't need to hit that bag no more. Now, champ, look, Snoop, 
Everybody stop. Y'all saw that. Now, if the world want to see this, do you want to see this? <laughs> I can give you this. You tell me when to sign the paperwork and it's done. Snoop, Kevin Hart versus Sugar Ray, 2028. It's happening. <laughs> 2028, Snoop. I need all that time. I need all that time. That is it for our show, and what an amazing show it was. God, Snoop, Olympic highlights started off with just you and I, and now we're attracting all these legends. It doesn't get better. It doesn't get bigger. Thank you to the man, the myth, the legend himself, Sugar Ray Leonard, Michael Phelps, of course, my uncle, my partner, Snoop Dogg. Thank you, man. We'll catch you all real soon yes, on sir. Peacock. Yes, sir. Thanks, champ. All Thanks, buddy. Mike. Thanks, all y'all. Hart and Leonard, 2028. Hart and Leonard, 2028. <laughs> <laughs>